Hello everyone, my name is Arlen and welcome again for another math video. For this video, I'm going to show you that the special number E, which can be written as the sum from n equals 0 up to positive infinity, of 1 over n factorial is an irrational number. We will show this result by contradiction. So first, let's assume that E can be written in the form P over Q. And for our purposes, P and Q are positive integers. Furthermore, we will assume that P over Q is in lowest terms, or in other words, the GCD of P and Q is equal to 1. And also, since we know that E is not an integer, we can safely assume that Q is greater than 1. So, with that in mind, let's consider this following expression. Let's consider Q factorial times E, which is the sum from n equals 0 up to positive infinity of 1 over n factorial less a sum beginning with 1 over 0 factorial plus 1 over 1 factorial plus and so on. The second to the last term will be 1 over q minus 1 factorial and the last term will be 1 over q factorial. Let's consider this expression and name this star. So let's make some observations about star. First of all, the term inside this big parentheses is positive because we are subtracting from an infinite sum of 1 over n factorial a finite number of terms from that particular infinite sum. Hence, the term inside is positive. And if we multiply that with q factorial, the result will still be positive. Hence, star is greater than 0. Now, we also know that this infinite sum is equal to e. And by our assumption, we can write e in the form p over q. And now, if we multiply q factorial by p over q, the result will be an integer. Similarly, q factorial divided by 0 factorial is an integer. q factorial divided by 1 factorial is an integer. And so on. q factorial divided by q minus 1 factorial is also an integer. And also with the last term, q factorial divided by q factorial is an integer. So what we're saying here is that star can be written as the sum of integers. And therefore, star is an integer itself. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to rewrite star in another equivalent way. So now, if we rewrite star in another equivalent way, we will have the following. Star is equivalent to q factorial times, let's first simplify the terms inside this big parentheses. Well, for this infinite sum, the first term is 1 over 0 factorial, and that term will cancel out here. For the second term, we have 1 over 1 factorial, and that will also cancel out here. As it turns out, all the terms of this infinite sum starting from 1 over 0 factorial up to 1 over q factorial will cancel out. And therefore, the next term that will not cancel out will be 1 over q plus 1 factorial. The second term from that infinite sum that will not cancel out will be 1 over q plus 2 factorial. And the third one will be 1 over q plus 3 factorial, and so on, going on indefinitely. 
Now, if we will multiply q factorial with 1 over q plus 1 factorial, we will obtain the following result. For the denominator, we can rewrite q plus 1 factorial as q plus 1 times q factorial. And since we also have q factorial in the numerator, the q factorials will cancel out, leaving us with q plus 1 in the denominator. So therefore, if we multiply and distribute q factorial with each of these terms, we will have for the first term as 1 over q plus 1. For the second term, we will have 1 over q plus 2 times q plus 1. And for the third term, we will have 1 over q plus 3 times q plus 2 times q plus 1. One. And this will go on indefinitely. Now, by our assumption, we know that q is greater than 1. So therefore, q plus 1 is greater than 2. And so, therefore, the reciprocal, which is 1 over q plus 1, is less than 1 half. So based on this observation, we will write that here. 1 over q plus 1 is strictly less than 1 half. And for the second term, since 1 over q plus 1 is less than 1 half, 1 over q plus 2 is also less than 1 half. And so the second term will be less than 1 fourth or 1 over 2 squared. Similarly, for the third term, we will have it to be less than 1 eighth or 1 over 2 cubed. And this will go on indefinitely. So therefore, star, which is this infinite sum, is strictly less than the sum 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth and so on. Since each corresponding term here in star is less than the corresponding term here that I've written below. 1 over q plus 1 is less than 1 half. 1 over q plus 2 times q plus 1 is less than 1 fourth and so on. Let's consider this infinite series that I've written below. This infinite series is exactly a geometric series. The first term is 1 half and the ratio is 1 half. And we know that the sum of that is equal to 1. So therefore, we can conclude that star is also strictly less than 1. And now, if we combine our observations that we have earlier, we now know that star is greater than 0, star is an integer, and also star is less than 1. But wait. That is impossible. That is impossible because all three statements about star cannot be true at the same time. It is impossible because there is no integer between 0 and 1. Hence, we have arrived at a contradiction once we have assumed that E can be written in the form P over Q. Or in other words, we have arrived at a contradiction once we have assumed that E is a rational number. Therefore, our assumption was false and we have to conclude the opposite. We have to conclude that E is not a rational number. E is irrational, and that is what we want to show. And that concludes this video. Thank you for watching, and see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.